Hey guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download the schematic file, put it into Minecraft with Lightmatica, and paste it into your world step by step. Let's get into it. The first link in the description will lead you to this website where you want to click download and then again download. It will pop up in the right corner in downloads and when it's ready you will have to press it. Then wait for a window to pop up, here you choose what version you want or a snapshot. I will be using the latest version. Then press install. Make sure Minecraft is closed by the way. And then press OK. Press the second link in the description. Here you'll see the fabric app. Now on the right it's very easy and very visible. The big download button. Press it and on the bottom click the download. Now wait 5 seconds and it will pop up on the top right corner in your downloads. Well, you still need Lightmatica. I want you to go to versions and look at the top version because it's the latest version. I want you to press download and it will also appear in your download files. Again, click the fourth link. This will open Malilib. Download the latest version and this will also be in your downloads. Now, we finished downloading everything. I want you to open percent app data percent. This will be a file on your laptop or PC. I want you to go to .minecraft, there will be a file named mods, if there's no file named mods you'll have to make one, and here you'll have to drag everything you downloaded into the file. Look for downloads, here will be all the files you just downloaded, select the jar files, the jar files are the ones with the jar icon, there's only one that's not a jar file so it's very easy. Drag them over, and you're done. Now you still need a schematic. The fifth link in the description will lead you to another video of mine where you can find a schematic. This is for the Eiffel Tower, you might have seen the video. This will take you to my Patreon, where you just have to scroll down a bit and there is a zip file you will have to download. This will also be put in your downloads. Now I want you to open your downloads and your mods file. I want you to click back on the .minecraft where it will open and you will have to look for a file named schematics. If the schematic file is not here yet you might have to start minecraft up and then later close it again and find it. Now click the zip file, there will be a file, you just have to drag it in so it will later pop up in game. Now in your minecraft browser you have a new name here, it's normal, just press play. Now in game, press one of these buttons, depending on what keyboard you have, to open the settings. We first have to bind a new hotkey. Look for execute operation. You have to bind a key here because by default there is none here. I like to use left shift enter. Go back into world and take a stick. The stick is the most important thing you will use. You can use a menu by using control and scroll. We're only going to use two things right now, but there are more things you can use. We're going to use two and five. We're going to start with 2, schematic placement. Press the button again to open the settings. Load schematic. And look for the schematic you want to load. Press the schematic. And then in the bottom left corner, press load schematic. Very self-explanatory. Go back to your world and there you will see it. But the blocks are not placed yet and you can just walk through it. It's not what we need. You can use alt and scroll wheel to move your build around. You can do it in both ways, left to right, further, more towards you, and up and down. Now hold control and scroll to the fifth option. Now we're going to paste the schematic in the world. Remember the key you had to press for the execute? Now it's time to use it, press that key. And as you can see your schematic is now placed in your world. Hope you don't have any questions, thanks for watching, like and subscribe.